Hooks are one of the fundamental features of WordPress. They allow you to hook into WordPress core and execute your own code at specific points in the WordPress lifecycle. The block editor has its own set of hooks that allow you to interact with the editor and modify its behavior. This lesson will introduce you to some different hooks available in the block editor and how to use them to extend the editor's functionality. While action and filter hooks have historically only been available in PHP, with the fact that the block editor is built using JavaScript, there are now also a new set of JavaScript hooks. These JavaScript action and filter hooks allow you to hook into different aspects of the editor and make changes to the editor's behavior or the blocks themselves. JavaScript hooks are registered using the add action and add filter functions of the WordPress hooks package. Similar to the PHP versions, you pass the hook name and a callback function to these functions. The one notable difference is that you also have to pass the namespace for the hook. This namespace is a unique identifier for the callback function and helps to prevent naming collision conflicts. Let's look at an example to demonstrate how to use a JavaScript hook. For all the block examples you've seen so far, you've used the register block type function from the WordPress blocks package to register the block in JavaScript. Every block starts by registering a new block type definition using this function. When the code that processes all registered blocks runs, any callback functions hooked into the blocks register block type filter are run and should return a modified block settings object. This filter hook allows you to modify the block settings object before the block is registered. To register a callback function to the blocks register block type filter, you use the add filter function from the WordPress hooks package. Let's create a plugin to NQS JavaScript file to register the filter. Start by creating a directory in your WP content plugins directory to store the block hooks code. Create the main plugin file WP learn block hooks.php in the newly created directory. Then add the following code to set up the plugin header and make sure your plugin code only runs in the WordPress environment. Next, you can hook a callback function into the NQ block editor assets action to NQ the JavaScript file. So add action, NQ block editor assets, and we'll specify the callback as WP learn block hooks editor assets. And then we can define that function. And enqueue a JavaScript file in the root of the directory. Notice that you need to specify the WP hooks dependency to make sure your block hooks code only load once the WordPress hooks package is available. This is because you're going to use the add filter function from that package in the JavaScript file. Now create the block hooks JS file in the plugin directory and start with an IIFE or immediately invoked function expression. Next, use the add filter function to register a callback on the blocks.register block type filter hook. So here we can call wp.hooks to access things from the hooks package and then call the add filter function and then pass the filter hook register block type give it a namespace so let's say wp learn block hooks and we'll just say list block description and then we will say add list block description as the callback function. Notice how you specify a unique namespace before the callback function. The namespace is defined by the developer and should be unique to your plugin. Now let's create the add list block description callback function and have it do something. So we can define the function with the function name 
and it receives some parameters from the filter. And then let's say if name equals core list. Let's just fix the parameter there. Then let's update something in the settings. And finally return the settings object. Here, the add list block description callback function receives the block settings object and the name of the block as parameters. It then checks if the block being registered is a list block. And if it is, it changes the description property of the block settings object. Finally, because this is a filter, it needs to return something. In this case, it needs to return the modified settings object. To test this, don't activate the plugin yet, but instead, edit a postal page and search for the list block from the block inserter. You will see if you hover over the list block, the description says, create a bulleted or numbered list. Now, activate the plugin. With the plugin activated, if you edit a postal page and search for the list block, you should see that the description has changed. The Block Editor Handbook has a section dedicated to Block Editor Hooks, which contains different pages for the different types of hooks available. The Block Filters page contains a list of all the filters available that allow you to modify the behavior of existing blocks, with sections on modifying blocks during block registration, modifying blocks on the front end, changing the behavior of blocks in the Block Editor, removing blocks, hiding blocks, and managing block categories. Editor Hooks documents all the hooks that allow you to modify the editor experience, including modifying the editor settings, disabling the block directory and pattern directory features, extending editor features, controlling REST API data for the editor, and logging editor errors. The i18n filters page contains a list of filters that allow you to modify the internationalization functions used in the editor. Parser Filters documents all the filters that allow you to modify the block parser, which is used to convert the block data stored in memory into the block markup that is stored in the post content in the database. Autocomplete is a component in the WordPress block editor package that provides a way to add autocompleters to the editor. If you've ever used the at username functionality in a WordPress site, this is powered by the autocomplete component. The autocomplete filters page documents how you can add your own autocompleters to the editor. Finally, the global styles filters page documents the filters added to WordPress that allow developers to modify the global settings and styles of a block theme as defined by the theme.json file. All of these pages include details examples of how to use these hooks in your code and how they can be used to extend the blocks editor's functionality.